Yo, yo, yo. Everybody, what's up? Checking in. See what's up. Jamaica style. What vibe? Hello. Hello. What's going on there, Stan? Um, I'm in my studio. I kind of realized that's that. That's me and that's you. <laughs> I got the beats you sent this morning. Thank you. It's, it's tons of variety, by the way. I'm, I'm going to probably send some melodies um, between now and tomorrow. I'm going, I have studio like every day, like, because I'm finishing okay. up this Christmas stuff. Cool. And then and then I'm gonna send some melodies and of course you do your sting thing. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> as 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 only you could do it. Uh but it's it, you hear that it's like mad variety, you know, it's like crazy, crazy. Yeah. You know. And some are live, some are electronic, you know, and some of them are like out there. So you did but a then, lot at the ranch? No, actually, I did that at a studio down here in Jamaica uh, at Mixing Lab. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean they've done it's a, it's a great it's a great sound in the studio. I've I've done like Summertime there, and you know a lot of other big records, a lot of Chakadema Supplies records tease me. You know a lot of those Some records. Nice uh, piano yeah. chords. Yeah, and that was um that was uh, uh Lenky and and um, Nathaniel Otti. Yeah, well, give so, them my congratulations. That's really yeah, cool. man. Yeah, great musicians and everything. So we were just, just you know, throwing ideas. And we're going to jump into it. But I'm going to send you uh, what I got of my Christmas album. Great. In time for Christmas, I hope. It, in, well, it will be. It will be. I, yeah. I have, like, most of it done. Most of the drama. I get it done. You know, Christmas is in December, right? I know, but... <laughs> hey, okay. i tell you a funny joke. I was, I'm here listening to these demos and at my house, I'm, my house is under construction, obviously I have tons of workmen or whatever around. And so I'm playing it in, the, in my, my media room, I'm playing this, uh, this thing, you know, these Christmas carols really live, these, well, you know, this reggae kind of dance all style of Christmas carol, and then these guys are jamming to it, so they're partying and think it's like it's new music. I was like, yo, this wicked rare, and I was like, what? Oh, did you say Christmas in that song? <laughs> and they're looking at where we are right now. I'm like, because they sound, it's really a party kind of record because our Christmas in Jamaica is a lot different from Christmas anywhere else. You know, some people have snow and mistletoes and, and uh, you know, Santa Claus coming through the chimney and, you know, buttons, sleigh bells. Jamaica, it's rum, party, sorrow, um, black cake, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Again. beach, <laughs> you know, so it's us doing this kind of a party kind of a vibe, uh, and creating a, 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 a but so, but when you listen, it just sounds like you're at a party, you, you know, but you're hearing these little, you know, the Christmas sleigh bell type of sound. Ching, 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 ching. I do know the Christmas then, sleigh bell, Shaggy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I put that in there, so 
you know, it was funny that they all they all was going live and it was going crazy on it. So did it you put really our version of Silent Night on it? I am I am planning on putting why are you letting out my secrets, bro? I'm you know, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to have a little bit of excitement here, bro. Okay. All right. Are we, is this public? Are we speaking in public? We, everybody knows what we're saying right now. We're... Okay, well, I better, I better be careful what I say, right? <laughs> Yo, what are, you, what are you doing over there in, uh, in, um, at Palacio? Well, how's, uh, how's Italy? I'm in my studio, and I, I'm trying to write some music. And, um, you know, just messing around every day just to keep myself sane. Yeah, as we all do. I mean, hey. I, it's fortunate I can work from home. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd really be, I would be going crazy. Yeah. Where's Dominic? I, he was there. He, is he still there? Or he left. Who? Dominic, Dominic. left yesterday morning. Ah. He went so back could, home to France. So you but got you know, some great I, stuff I, done. I should have been in uh, playing a gig tonight in in France. Ah, yeah. And uh, it's it's strange to look at my dates and go. Uh, I should be working, but yeah. Here we are. We just, you know, back to back looking at all the dates and just realize what, you know, this is just not what you and I do. Sit home and, you know, just. Well, everything's been put back a year. Yeah. So all the stuff we couldn't do this year, we're hopefully going to do next year if we can control this uh, virus. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we do that. But, yo, uh, you should be okay, though, because you have the greatest cooks ever in that house, by the way. <laughs> I'm okay because yeah. I don't see anybody. <laughs> well, you, you got you got a lot of land to not see anybody there. Stop. <laughs> that, 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 that place is it's quite. I live weird. in Central Park. Yeah, that's Central Park, bro. My that's own exactly. Central Park. <laughs> yeah. So you cannot see anybody if you don't want to see anybody. Uh -uh. But I tell you what, if I get there, you gonna goddamn well see me though. I'll oh, be honest, right up in your face. Like you. I'll be up your like face you. like this. <laughs> You just gotta have a test first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta come. With, you got the gun. You got the little. Gun, little you got the heat stuff gun. Up and, the stuff up your nostrils. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. dude, you killing me right now. <laughs> yeah. So you administer a test on anybody who comes there. Anybody who gets anywhere near. <laughs> you gotta That's do hilarious. That, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wear a so mask in bed. So who administered? Who administered the, the, the test? You. Me. You you put the thing on the nose? Of course I do. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long stick. Oh my God, this is that's bad, yo. <laughs> <sighs> Shouldn't laugh. I don't feel it. Ain't it? It is kind of funny that you're doing it though. But you know, it, the whole situation is not funny because there's you know obviously a lot of people died and and this <laughs> thing is just out of control, uh, uh -huh. and people in America are just not taking it serious and and they're reaping. You know, they 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 they're feeling the consequences of it. You know? know, it's terrible, and it's slowing everything down. But I will tell you what, in Jamaica, I gotta I gotta commend the government here, man. They they jumped on it really early, and uh, they implemented all the laws and, and and like it's it's by law you should wear a mask. And that, what I love about here is it doesn't take the uh, the authorities to check you on the mask. It's regular citizens are like, yo, yeah. hey, where's your mask? You know what I mean? It's it's become kind of a natural thing. There's some people who are still unruly, and then of course, you know, the police go at them or whatever it is, but they locked it down early. They set all these guidelines, the curfews. At one point it was like three o'clock in the day and then you gotta be home. And now it's, you know, kind of relaxed to about 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. They still haven't opened up uh, public gatherings. I think they kind of ease it up with like backyard parties or maybe something like that. But they've they've somehow contained it, and um, and have made us to at least. And of course, they shut the country down. So remember, I was stuck in New York for like I don't know eight to ten weeks, just sitting down there, couldn't go home. I remember. You know? And uh, finally, I got I got home, and I'm I'm just here. I'm scared to go anywhere else because then I'll have to go back through the whole quarantine situation uh -uh. again. So listen, let's, let's talk about your record. Yeah, we play that's good. We played 2020 the other night in the, in my backyard. I saw you really loud, you. and we had we danced all night and kept playing it. It's it's really great. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Thank you. Hey, by the way, thank you for for uh, suggesting uh, Electric Avenue. Well, that, that was, was truly a suggestion, actually. I was truly waiting for you to say that. <laughs> yeah.
She's probably listening right now. She, <laughs> maybe we came up with it together, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, you know, uh, it, it was a good call. We did it live on, on the Rainforest uh, Fun concert, which, which came out really, really good. And, uh, and, but it was your suggestion to record it. Well, my, my connection with Eddie Grant, who wrote Electric Avenue, is I, 35 years ago, exactly, we released uh, Dream of the Blue Turtles, which we recorded in Eddie's studio in Barbados. Barbados, yeah. So, mm. And I've always been a fan of his. When he was in the Equals, you know, a fantastic uh, band. And so I think Electric Avenue is his best song, actually. And, oh, it's uh, great. You do a great and job. Is great, and I tell you, and I tell you what, with him, he was like our first Caribbean superstar yeah, that yeah, I yeah. could that I could remember. You know, before there was Rihanna and you know and all that, he was like that that pop superstar. Before you know, Bob Marley. Before Bob Marley, yeah. Yep. You know, it was that pop superstar, and uh, I remember him on on you know just being us that guy. Wow, this guy is really really doing doing it. And uh, so it was an honor to actually just do that track over. And every, it's kind of becoming a fan favorite right now. A lot of people really checking all the feedback. A lot of people loving it. And, uh, you know, you did a great job in Primavera. Congratulations, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Did you hear, did you hear the, ra the radio mix? No, but I, I put some more bass on it. I didn't think it was enough bass on it. Okay. So I put so, some bass guitar yeah. on it. It oh, wasn't is, there. Is, is, is that because you're a bass player? It's because I'm staying and I can do what the hell I like. <laughs> I, I just took your record and I remixed it. I'm just letting people know this is what I deal with every day. <laughs> you look at that Superman here. <laughs> Dude, <thank you. laughs> Sting and I, Sting and I have this uh, crazy competition uh, that that we well, we, but he's not going to say it's a competition. He's going to say it's really you know, it's <laughs> he's run me out of the box. It's not. It's no competition. But we be doing uh, we were doing yoga. Uh, and 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 uh, what was that thing we do planks? We did planks, planks and and we, we went up to like what was it, like five minutes on planks. You weren't doing the plank. You were just lying. I was doing on the, on no, the, no, 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 no. Stop. Like a plank. Okay, the first one I kind of when I was just starting, I kind of I kind of cheated. But I was up there with you after that. It was you and me every at every show. It was like okay, plank time, boom. You know what I mean? I was hanging. Okay, you know you're, hanging. Hanging. you're an ex marine. And, and, you're tough. Yeah, but no, nah, I'm, I'm going to practice. This is something you do every day. This is like lifestyle for you. You know what I mean? That's yoga and poses and, you know, this is a lifestyle thing for you. This is me trying to go. And I'm Jamaican. You know, I like fried food. You know, you'd be like, well, we should only eat lamb. No, no, I like <laughs> fried food too. That's not true. You do eat fried food. I'm but not, you be telling me that you don't like fried food. That's the difference. <laughs> and then I catch you eating the fried food, and then it's a different conversation. <laughs> Can you stop giving my secrets away on this public channel? Oh, I've got my glasses. Oh, I can see you now. That, oh my God. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, I've, been I've been practicing the uh, banana song. Ah, uh, now you do the drop. I know, <laughs> but I, I can't you get it in drop. time. It's really difficult. Maybe I need some mechanical glasses or something. Well, we're doing we're doing well with that record, man. And uh, you know, that's cool, man. It's, it's it's cool to see it do what it does. You know what I mean? And um, you know, the album, it's on the album also. And and what does Harry Belafonte think about it? I don't know. I would love to. Be, I would love to have a to hear cool, what he Harry would say. Harry, what do you think? Yeah, that'd be cool. We should have that have that conversation. You know, I'm sure he'd be cool with it. <laughs> but he it's wasn't the right. Very old he song, right? It's so yeah, he old wasn't traditional right, song, calypso. Yeah, it was another guy that wrote it. Uh, and I think he died last year. Um, really? That did it. Yeah, yeah, he died last year. But, I, thought uh, it was really, I thought it was really old. But... Yeah, it, it is. It is. I mean, well, the guy was really old. He died last year, too. So, um, But it's cool to see that these kids don't, don't even know about the original one. They're just looking at it as a new song. You know what I'm saying? Which is like a... a, a All a, a new guy. songs are old songs. You know hey. Well, you know, you know it better than me because you've written a couple of classics. <laughs> just, just a few. <laughs> just, just a few. Oh, somebody Lord. asked me. Somebody asked me the other day, "What song did I wish I wrote?" And you never guess what song I told them. Um, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Nah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, said Fred. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sexy for my shirt. I told him. I told him. Uh, every breath you take, and I tell you why I said it. 
It has nothing to do with the artistic value of it. Mm -hmm. It has to do with how much money it's made. <laughs> Number two most played song in the world. And on top of that, on top of that, everybody and their mother has re-recorded it. <laughs> Every breath you take. You take. <laughs> Every, Every move you make. You make. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, it's funny. So hopefully we go back on the road. I'm I'm waiting to hear what you do with these tracks. Be lovely. Um, okay. Or or if you do anything with them at all. But well, I'm gonna have keep... fun with them. You know, it's, yeah. it's all about having fun, Shaggy. You know that. Yeah. No. No. I I always say this to people that if we're not laughing when making records, then it's no good. Yeah. You know. Did you watch my documentary on uh? The documentary on uh, It Wasn't Me? On It Wasn't Me? No, I, I have it in my in-tray, and I'm going to watch it. I hear it's really good. Yeah, they really did a good job on that. Yeah. And the, and the thing about it, when we said when It Wasn't Me, I knew we had a hit, was the fact that when we were writing it, we were just laughing. Because there were so many outtakes that we didn't use, because obviously we're trying to get radio. But they were so funny in the process. And in everything that we do, and even with this Christmas album, that I've been doing, it's been nothing but laughs. If I'm doing a project and we're not laughing profusely <laughs> and losing our mind, then we're not doing it. And that's what 44876 was for us. It was one big was a comedy song. show. Yeah. And then you made me sing it, but uh, it wasn't me in a church in Germany, remember? <laughs> and um, I had, a, I had a, the priest was there too, and I had to say, look, this is a morality tale. <laughs> it's a parable of morality. <laughs> I remember and the priest. He finally <laughs> sees the light. <laughs> because you, you had to break it down to him and let him know, hey, you know, this is, it is not a, a, a cheating kind of a record. It's no, not no, promoting, no, 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 no. you know, you had to break it down to him. And thank you for doing that. Because so many Pleasure. people thought that I was this, you know, womanizing, you know. I'm a facilitator, Shaggy. You know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they call it nowadays. <laughs> You know, this is now the world's most, the best what? entanglement song. <laughs> That's what I saw. Oh, okay. Put up on it. It's, it's the entanglement <laughs> song. <laughs> and not biographical at all, right? Uh, yeah. no. It's Just all out of your imagination. Oh, man. Well, I'm, I'm happy to see you, Sting. You know, and, I miss uh, you a lot. I don't know why I, do. I miss you, but I do. Well, that's because I give you hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm always on your case. <laughs> uh, I think you know, it's the other way around, but anyway. Yeah, but I was I, I was trying to uh, see because I, I figured you know I was going to try and make a trip down to Palagio. I really was. I talked about it. I was like, we need to get get out of here. But then, you know, I was going to try to do it with me and Martin, and then they locked him up. He came, from, you know, and I was like, man, this is crazy. But then I extended to you to to come down. Remember, I gave you that invitation too. Yeah, I'd love to come to Jamaica before Christmas. It'd be great. Yeah, but we'll see how we'll see how that works out with this whole pandemic and everything, and you know, get some music going, man. Okay, my brother, I'll miss you. And, I'll miss uh, you, man. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. And and say hi to Trudy for me. Um, I will. And, hey, yo, I saw Coco in uh, uh, the Gentleman. Oh yeah. Oh man, she was brilliant. She's great, isn't she? And it was like a total surprise because I didn't expect her there, and I was like, oh, dude, that's Coco. Oh, and she was like, killing it. Like literally, it was so, it was so believable. Her whole Have you watched character. my other daughter in Snowpiercer? No, I didn't see that on one. Netflix. No, I'm gonna write that now. That's on Netflix? It's called Snowpiercer. She, she plays a, a badass. Oh, good. yeah. Yeah, we got, I gotta go look that one. It was so amazing just to see her, man. And, and Coco is just, you know, great musician, great person, love her to death. You know, I still remember the night that me and you was in a, Paris, eating damn sardines. Oh yeah, and, and she was with us. Out of a and tin. I'm like, out of a tin. I'm like, I can't believe we're paying this much money for sardines out of a tin. They were vintage, man. They were. I don't care how vintage it was. It was damn sardines, thing. What are you talking about? It's, you're in it's this like, fine, fine. You know how weird it is to sit in a fine dining restaurant with everybody dressed up. You can't even go in there casual. And they must be charging my childhood, man. And charging all that money for sardine in a goddamn tin? Seriously? And then you sit down there, you, you don't know what you're going to taste when you taste this. It tastes like sardines. No, they're vintage, man. They're vintage. 
It didn't have the vintage taste. It tastes like sardine Listen, and some friggin' olive oil. I'm not arguing with you. You're wrong. By the way, uh, I have your olive oil. I have two bottles, and it's very popular. I would like some more. I'll send it to you right now. Please do. Right? I, it's very popular. I knocked them out. All right, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? All right. Take it easy, man. Big up Goodbye. to everybody. And big up to, the cook, big up to the cooks at the house. They're the only, <laughs> they're the only people I come there for. <laughs> and me. And you. <laughs> Sign it up right now, okay? All right, Bye. later. Bye. Yeah. I gotta sign you off. Big up the sting, man. Make sure everybody check out the Hot Shot 2020 album. Um, a lot of that album, uh, we recorded a lot of that album backstage at Sting's play, uh, the last ship. I was going to Austra I was coming back from Australia, and I stopped over for the premiere, and I stayed there for a week. And he had a little dressing room in the back. And we actually turned the dressing room in the studio. And we ended up doing a bunch of, uh, you know, just a bunch of songs and for the album. And he was in and out, in and out. And that's how he ended up on Angel. Because while I was doing it, he was walking in. and was like, oh, let me sing that. And he ended up singing that. And, uh, of course, he suggested to do uh, Electric Avenue. And, of course, we, you know, he wanted me to put Primavera on it. So he was uh, a very instrumental part of making this project, uh, Hot Shop 2020. And, um, you know, and he's my brother and, and uh, one of my biggest supporters and, and just, you know, overall cool dude, man. And uh, we have a lot of fun. And um, just want to say big up to him. And, uh, you know, he's isolated, obviously, in Italy. And, um, it'd be cool to see him. You know, because we have a lot of fun. It's, we're a real team, and and and, it's, and he's uh, he's missed. So maybe maybe he'll come to Jamaica. Maybe I go there, but we'll make it happen. To so everybody who supported me over the years, thank you very much. 110 percent to my amazing team. I thank them to my ranch and uh, ranch entertainment team. Big them up to my um, cherry tree team, management team. Big them up, and. Um, just want to say, uh, you know, the album is an enjoyable album. It's one of them albums that you do and just really feel happy, like you're in a mood, you know what I mean? And big up to Shane Hussam. Um, I know I've drilled him uh, every day, pause, but, you know, be on his case all day, tell him, hey, go ahead and get these tracks done the way and I cost you every minute. I still cuss you anyway, it don't matter. You know, Grant, amazing, quickest, most wittiest uh, engineer ever. And to Martin for never sleeping. To Tracy for being just super on point and making me get looks that I never thought I'd get. Uh, as a publicist, you're, you're amazing. And not just a publicist, but you're my, my, my dear friend and I love you. And... Um, Rossi, big up for me being my brother, you know. Kamari, you're still looking no matter how you look at it. And um, so everybody did just help make this thing possible. Oh, Rob Orton, you're, you're the king on the mixes, bro. And by the way, I got the whole uh, Christmas album coming your way soon, so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to bombard you in about two minutes. And congratulations to the last Bandoleros. They did a television show on Good Morning America yesterday, and they had a phenomenal day. They debuted at number six with their album on iTunes, and they were number two on the country chart. And I have witnessed them play live, and I have never seen anything like it. I went on stage to sing with them, and their monitors, it was the most shitty mix I've ever heard. And they were so on point that they don't even have to hear themselves to play well. That's how tight that band is. And, and I, I wish them all the best. And, uh, you know, their album, go get their album, Life in Texas. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a hybrid fusion of what they do, mixing uh, 
country um, with Latin. Uh, and the craziest set of Mexicans I ever seen. So don't drink tequila with them. Jerry, I love you. The whole crew, you're all great. And I wish you all the best. Anyway, Hot Shot 2020. Catch it. It's out now. I'm going to sign off because they got more work for me to do. So, salute. Oh, by the way, we're in Jamaica. Make sure you all come to Jamaica when you can. It's lovely here. Bless Corona. But you know they're going to put that thing up your nose and do the do-do, but, you know, they're going to do the thing. So, because we're all about being safe. Everybody be safe. Thank you all very much. God bless.